Our guest today is Jayanti Khatraju. She is director of IEGB, India Association of Greater Boston, as well as this year co-chair of the Cultural Committee, which is responsible for organizing cultural programs at India Day next, this coming Sunday. So we are going to talk to her about what is happening at Hatch Cell on India Day. Jayanti, welcome to our studio. Very and nice meeting you. Sure. And um, all the best for the event on uh, Sunday. And uh, so you are the co-chair of the Cultural Committee with uh, Dizzy Taylor. Yes. So just tell us about what is new this year at the India Day program. Well, let's start with um, the, the concept. The theme this year is fusion. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we have in mind is to have a fusion of themes, genres, musical uh, forms, dance forms, and uh, that is what we have had. We have about 23 items, mm -hmm. and ranging from music to hip hop to Bharatnatyam, Nati Shastra, and you know, uh, uh, tabla with the Mridangam, Jugalbandi. So how many performers would be there in 23 items? Uh, we have set a minimum limit of five or six at mm -hmm. least. So we have 23, so it's about 150, I would imagine. Excellent. Performers. And what time the program really starts? The program starts at 4 o'clock. And uh, any logistics we should know, the attendees? Well, um, as with many events at the Hatch Shell, we want to be respectful of the security checks. Mm -hmm. So we all want you to come. It is a free and open event. I was going to ask you, it's no, no charge, no, no fee, totally no. free. It is free and uh, as always, we, we, we expect uh, audience in the thousands. Mm -hmm. So all we ask is that we make sure that we give enough time so that we, we pass through the security checks and then we can start the program. Excellent. Now, um, so let's talk a little bit about the concept, the idea behind this sure. fusion program. Yes, so we wanted, um, Aditi and I and then the rest of the cultural committee, we, we brainstormed. Oh, who are the we, other members of the cultural committee? Uh, we have Ali Bhai, Ali okay. Rizvi, mm -hmm. and then we have Praveena Naritota, and as well as Jaya Vurganti. Excellent, okay. Um, Sorry to interrupt you. Oh no, okay. not at all, not so, at all. So the idea is, uh, you, we whether we call it fusion or not, we do see Bollywood's effect. Sure. But we wanted to keep it as open and wide as possible, mm -hmm. and that is that is one of the reasons we have an item. Mm -hmm. Our opening item is actually a song. They are going to fuse, uh, do a fusion of Imagine, and then you know we shall overcome th those kind of songs with Hindi songs that are. Mm -hmm. that have equivalence mm -hmm. to those ideas. So now in this uh, 23 items, if you can give us some sort of idea that, you know, say how many will be dance items, how will be just singing or any... Uh, our opening item is a music item. We have one hip hop. Mm -hmm. They call themselves kick cop. Mm -hmm. And then we have several uh, dance pieces. I think it's predominantly dance. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, we have to think about the ambiance of the hat shell, so sure. it's a lot more, mm -hmm. it's more appealing uh, for a moving crowd if we had more dances. Excellent. And it just so happened that our entries came out that way too, sure. so it just worked out pretty good. Sure. Now, um, what about um, in, in terms of, uh, you know, the chief guest, anything you have, anybody who's going to be the chief guest? Yes, but I would like to keep it as a surprise. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> and we also have uh, recognitions, special recognitions. We have uh, Lifetime Achievement Awards as mm -hmm. well as the Youth Service Awards. Mm -hmm. So this is the new thing which IEGB has started a few years ago. The Youth Service Awards, certainly, yes. Yes, okay. The Lifetime Achievement Award, I'm sure it has happened. We had one in the Repu during Re Republic, Republic Day as well. Day. Okay, excellent. And this time I do have to mention that the Youth Service Awards, it was very difficult to choose the mm -hmm. top. Mm -hmm. Because everybody is so good. Sure. And everyone is so close and do so. they do so many things. They're very well rounded. And that gives me a very good, co you know, level of confidence in the youth that we have in the community. Excellent. So now uh, you were elected director last year, right? Correct. Last year came on the board. Yes. So this is the first time your involvement with IAGB or you were involved with IAGB? No, no, I have been part of the cultural committee several times in the several past. Several times, okay. But this is the time that it's more of in the executive. That you are officially Correct. You are on the board. Elected and in the board. The board, board. So how your experience has been so far? It has been excellent. Mm -hmm. We have a great leadership mm -hmm. and a wonderful band of people mm -hmm. and uh, we just get it done. Yeah, excellent. That's all it takes. Whatever it takes. Okay. And how many people you expect at the IAG we had so this year? Uh, typically we have about 
you know at least 10000 mm-hmm. 12000 mm-hmm. if you you know starting and considering it's a long program sure sure and a lot of it is like moving crowd sure and we do have to mention the different vendors that we are going to have mm-hmm. and variety of food Okay. And that is very important, and that is the most important attraction, I would think. Sure, sure. So, in, in terms of um, like, if you talk about some logistical issues, like you know, the parking and the security, and how that is going to work. So uh, we recommend. What are your recommendations? We recommend public transportation because you can just get off the Charles River uh, red red line stop, and then just get off the mm-hmm. stairs, and then you pretty much are on the banks of the river and by the hatch shell. Mm-hmm. Um, we do recommend taking the public transportation and if you have to drive please try and carpool mm-hmm. and there are par- you know several parking uh, lots across the street and you may we may have to walk mm-hmm. a little bit but to the performers we urge that they have a designated driver that c- can drop them off at the venue go park and come back mm-hmm. because it is very important and a lot of times we don't really want to wait mm-hmm. I mean once the event starts it just moves on. Sure, sure. So yeah. it's an important point that everybody should remember. Excellent. Performers as well as the audience. Mm-hmm. Uh what about uh, in terms of um some surprise which we don't know and you want to share with us? Well, if it is if I share with you that won't be a surprise. <laughs> That's true. But you know some sort of a you know anything exciting that you know if, if I'm going to see the Hatch Cell program this year uh, what is I'm going to walk away with? What type of uh, flavor what type of uh, feeling emotions i will walk away with to me as a performer it's an inspiration to see how the different genres different uh, you know forms of music and dance have been combined and uh, some of the music that i heard when i was doing the audio it's just unbelievable mm-hmm. one could not have even th- thought they wouldn't even have thought about you know some kind of fusion it's not always bollywood and then you know all some classical there's so much more than that and uh, the one item that i will be, my students and i will be performing is moves in nati shastra that have been prescribed and you know fo- followed but many thought that it was bollywood it was not classical mm-hmm. so srimati padmini ravi was able to uh, do a whole uh, program for us last time at the visionaid and we are presenting for the first time so now uh, i heard that visionaid program was absolutely fantastic and uh, you were Yes, I was one of to, the co- to, to co-producers. The, and then your students are going to perform at Hatchel as well. Yes. And uh, your school is called Natyanjali, right? Natyanjali. Natyanjali, yes. okay. And uh, you said it has been in um, uh, teaching for about 21 years? Yes. Okay, congratulations on that. 21 Thank you. 21 years is a big milestone. And I just have finished my 15th Arangetram of, uh, with, with two sisters last Sunday. Excellent. And it takes about 7-8 years for one Arangetram? 7-10 to ten years, but seven. learning can never stops. Okay. And as I mentioned earlier, it was it's actually a milestone that you set to see that, yes, I want to do an Arangetram just to get an idea of my first mm-hmm. stepping stone. Mm-hmm. So that is what very good. it is. Jayanti, thank you very much. It was really nice to uh, see you. My pleasure. Again. And then uh, all the best for your event. and come on celebrate india day with us at the hatchel thank you